Hello friends, welcome to this video. Today I'm going to show you how you can draw a bridge using AutoCAD. I have this drawing as an example that has dimensions here in decimal units and I'm going to proceed and uh, replicate this drawing. So I'm going to zoom out and the first thing I want to do is I try to do this as fast as possible. So I'm going to do the left side first and then I'm going to copy paste the rest. So uh, I can, uh, I'm going to start from the base here. So the base, the first thing I want to see is that L enter and here I'm going to type uh, the width of this seems to be 5 units so ortho on and then 5 enter and then here I'm going to go so the distance from here and here seems to be well the first measurement is telling me is 36 so 36.5652 and I press enter and the second measurement is actually 8.4348 enter and then the last one is 79 so I tap 79 enter all right so here I'm gonna go up and uh, I'm watching here that it's 120 so I'm gonna go up 120 units 120 enter it does my height uh, and then I'm here on the ceiling uh, which is if you see here is 19 that uh, piece that comes out from the left so I'm gonna type 19 enter uh, my width also is 5 units so I can go 5 enter and then if I'm not mistaken let's see yes oh actually that is 9 so I made a mistake there so it's 9 so I'm gonna delete this delete this and I'm gonna zoom L enter going to the end point and that's gonna be 9 units enter okay then I'm gonna click here all right so uh, that's that's done now the next part I want to continue working on the base uh, so what I'm gonna do is L enter and I'm gonna click here and I think this is uh, let me see if this is five or nine uh, it's nine so I'm gonna make sure it's nine because I put, I think I put five here so I'm gonna do it again L enter here and nine all right and now it looks better it's more precise okay so that part is done the next thing I need to do is these two uh, suspension uh, pillars, or that this suspension pillar, and these two lines. Uh, as you can see here, uh, it goes five units uh, in inner and five units up. So I need to construct or have some construction lines, and uh, that will do that. So I'm gonna start here, L enter, and I'm gonna go from here down five units, enter, and then I'm gonna go full to the right. These are my construction lines that I will edit later. And I, I'll enter again and click here and point, pull to the left, zero, actually it's five, enter, and then I'm gonna pull up. Okay, pull up. Alright, so that's for that. And now I can connect my lines. L enter. I connect this endpoint to my first endpoint here. And this using the line command press auto off to my second endpoint here. Okay, get out of the line command. Okay, and I got this part is done. Now I need to do one of these sections, and then I will copy paste uh, the rest. I think it's one, two, three, four, five, six. So let's let's get to work and do one. Uh, so the width of this is uh, let's see 84. So I'm gonna go here and L enter. I'm gonna press line here, and it's gonna be 84 units. Uh, and I'm also gonna complete this line here to 84 units. Enter okay and then from here l enter the width was 120 if i'm not mistaken enter and then i'm just going to connect the lines here okay now i'm going to do the same thing uh, to the pillars i know it's uh, five units uh, here and five units up so i have to do those construction lines everywhere to facilitate the work so i'm going to go here uh, five units and then up make my ortho on and then the same thing here, five units enter and then go up, five units enter and then go to the right, L enter, endpoint, five units up and then left, then here five units and then I'm gonna go down, and then L enter here, five units up, and then here five units down okay that will work and now all I have to do is connect the lines so L enter using the endpoint so from here to here and then again from here to here 
and then from here to here and from this endpoint to this endpoint. I'm going to clean this a little bit uh, to remove these construction lines. I'm going to put this on this, this, press delete there, delete here and delete here and also the last one here. All right, so I have that, and uh, let's delete this last construction line. What I'm gonna do is press L, enter, okay, and I'm gonna move this here. All right, so we have this, and now what I'm gonna do is just copy paste this. So I'm gonna do uh, copy, enter, and I'm gonna select all this, and I'm gonna press enter, and then the base point is gonna be here, and I'm just gonna click here so we need six so this is we have one this is two three four five six and I press escape good now the next is to mirror this uh, left side into the right side so I'm gonna pick mirror enter and I'm gonna make a green selection box select all this enter and my mirror point is gonna be here on the left I'm gonna pull here to the left click okay enter and now I, what I'm gonna do is a move so move enter I'm gonna select these objects press enter and then the base point is gonna be here and I'm gonna go and connect it to this endpoint and the last thing but I'm missing is to close this so I'll enter and I'm closing that and that's it I have replicated the bridge now the next thing would be uh, to create the dimensions I'm just gonna create a few to show you and the rest uh, you can do it if you want so I'm just gonna go to the dimension layer here that is this purple one then I'm gonna click on dimension and I'm gonna click here and right here and I'm gonna pull out to see the measurement here and I think that I did a wrong selection let's do it again dimension Let's start here, here and here. This is nine units. Then dimension. Then let's see. Uh, from here all the way to here, and that is 120. Okay. And then uh, let's make this one just just because. Click dimensions, and then from here to here. Okay, 84. And, uh, and that's it. You can continue doing the dimensions, but this is how you uh, create a bridge uh, very fast and easy using the mirror command, copy paste, and the line command. Thank you for watching.